Hola YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, today is a story time. I'm a little nervous and scared to tell you guys because it's pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. So, Irisel, Beilin Puyo with Ancur right here, used to catfish people. Like I used to pretend I was somebody else and I would talk to them like I was them for the whole time and then I wasn't. Like I was in the other side, breaking people's heart. <laughs> That's horrible. I can't believe I did that. Okay, let's get to the story. When I was in high school, I didn't know who I was as a person. I was very insecure. I always felt like I was ugly. I was too dark. I always wanted to be like light skin and, and I wanted to fit in and I wanted to be like a pretty girl, I guess. I didn't know that I was pretty enough and I wasn't comfortable in my own skin and I wasn't who got to make me to be. So I was pretending to be somebody else. This girl is still popular, so I'm not gonna say her name. Uh, but the funny thing is that I'm more popular than her now. It's crazy how the world changes, huh? Um, no, I'm not saying this in any kind of shade or anything like that. It's just crazy to me how things just kind of go in the world. Like, you know, it goes around, it's weird. Um, I'm not gonna say her name because it's kind of embarrassing and I don't want to be attacked by people or anything like that. When I was in high school, I don't remember what year, this girl was pretty popular in MySpace. Like she had, thousands and thousands and thousands of fake profile pages like fake 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 and i always like i was obsessed with her obsessed with her style obsessed with her she was so pretty and innocent and i wanted to be her so bad that i became her i decided to make a fake myspace profile of her thinking that it was not gonna go nowhere like let's just be real like i was like this is not gonna go nowhere nobody's gonna know but it started getting popular like people started thinking that I was the real her. Like that's how crazy it got because she had like a thousand, but none of them used to get popular. Mine did because I used to keep up with, I was obsessed with the girl. Let's just not embarrass myself more. I was obsessed with the girl. Every time she would update a picture, I would put it on my page and everything, like everything. So um, I used to talk to guys here and there. They used to hit me up thinking I was her the whole time. Um, and I, I know we used to shop it up there on the messenger thing on MySpace here back, but it was one guy in particular who caught my attention that he was so cute. And I thought that me being myself, I was not gonna be able to pull him. So I decided to go with the girl. And he, he fell in love with Irisel pretending to be this popular girl. So our relationship went up to like a year or so without him even knowing he would call me every day he would buy me anything i wanted like he worked at walmart and he would spend his paycheck on me and would send me things like from new york to here <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> every time i wanted something he would buy it online and he's like okay it's going your way babe da -da -da -da. and then he would tell me like i can't wait until we get married and we have kids and i just i'm moving from new york i'm moving on to california and i'm playing off i'm a kid i'm like yeah sure it got so bad so bad that i started liking the guy like i thought i was in love but the, it was so messed up like oh that's sick that's sick. How can somebody do that? Oh my gosh. So it came to the point that my family started playing along with me that when he will call like my house phone or my cell phone and I wouldn't answer, somebody else would answer, he will call me by her name and my family knew. <laughs> my mom thought I was crazy, but she was just like, stop doing that when you're gonna tell him. And I'm like, I'm gonna tell him, don't worry, don't worry. But I went out for a year. Um, and to one day he hits me up and he's like, I have to talk to you. And I'm like, sure, what's going on? And in that time guys, I couldn't even speak English very good. So he was really thinking I was her. I was like, yeah, what's up? And he goes, I just have a question for you. And I'm like, okay. Then he goes, um, I've been receiving a lot of messages on my inbox, on my space, of course, on my inbox. I'm telling me that you're not the real so-and-so. And I flipped it and I started crying because my cover couldn't blow. I needed to become an actress and I'm like, no, this ain't gonna blow. Uh-uh, I love you and you're mine and you're not going nowhere. Psycho, psycho, mama, we here. Psycho, maniac, psycho, 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 maniac. Um, and he's like, don't cry, baby. I'm sorry. Like, I didn't believe him. I know that you're, I knew this was gonna hurt you. I'm sorry. I just see like all these fake pages of you and it bothers me to see all these girls to pretending to be you. And I'm just like, I can't believe that you're blaming me for something. Like, I gave you all. I really didn't. I just talked to him every day. We didn't even meet in person. But I'm frightened. I'm turning into an actress. I needed a war and everything. So 
we turn it on we talk we're talking about it we have like we have like we've been in the phone like for an hour and he's like prove to me that you're her like prove to me and i'm like i will prove it to you right now so i sent i started sending him pictures i started google she was so popular that you will google her and she will pop up um i started googling pictures that were not on her profile because her profile will get deleted every time because people will like create so many of her that she got tired of it and she deleted it so she would not keep up with all her pictures like it was crazy like this girl was so so popular and i would google her pictures and i would send him pictures like do you see these pictures on her profile and he's like no okay i believe you so he kind of toned down and i was like okay i feel so good because i was like okay we got it he believes me then you know he kept buying me stuff and after like nine months or so i got tired of it i got tired of faking it i got tired of like feeling you know ugly or whatever so i just had to tell him i said carlos his name was not carlos but i'm just covering the guy's name i'm not gonna say his name i said carlos i have to tell you something and he goes what's up i said i have to tell you i'm not the real so and so he started crying i can't believe that i broke somebody's heart like that like how can i be so cold how can i be so evil that i did that he started crying asking me why that i did that why why would i hurt him like that he goes well i'm in love with you i want to see who you are because i fell in love talking to you i don't care how you look like nothing i need to see how you look and i said oh we ain't doing that i'm not showing you what, what i look like because back then I, I really didn't think i was pretty guys like i was i had problems i had really problems growing up i didn't fit in it was weird so i didn't have my identity straight I was lost, completely lost. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God, God gave me my identity. I'm completely fine with myself now. Um, he goes, just tell me who you are. I, I wanna, I wanna be with you. I wanna marry you. And I got scared because I was a kid. Married? Then we gonna marry what the hell? I'm gonna marry nobody. I need to finish high school first. Relax. So I just said to him, no, I'm not going to tell you who I am. And that's just where it is. Stop calling me. Stop calling me. Don't call me anymore. I'm sorry if I broke your heart because you made me buy you all the stuff. And he goes, I don't even care all the things that I bought you. You know, I just want to be with you. So the time passes by and I was like, I will talk to you later. Maybe I will tell you later, but I'm not her and I'm done faking after a year. A year of catfishing the poor guy. The poor guy was catfished by it. He said, um, and then uh, one day, out of nowhere, I just had to tell him. He goes, why would you do that? He goes, you're so beautiful. You're really thinking that pretending to be this girl, you were able to get me. He goes, I'm attracted to you more than her. But it was too late because I already started talking to another guy. And then that was my boyfriend of five years. And then I left the poor guy catfish and I left him. <laughs> What a bad person am I? <laughs> what crazy person am I? I was lost, guys. Don't judge me. I was a kid. I didn't know who I was. And I was lost. <laughs> so yeah, I've been doing this catfish thing even before the show started. So yeah, I was a little embarrassed to tell you guys that story, but it happened. It's real life. It is a really catfishy people. That's what it was. If you guys have any catfish stories, tell me. I would love to know. Please don't make me feel like I'm the only one that did this. I know a lot of us did this, right? Am I the only one? <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I hope you guys enjoyed my story. Don't catfish nobody. And if and if you talking to somebody now on the phone and you haven't been able to FaceTime them, they're catfishing you. You got to let them go because they're lying to you. Right now we have video. Now we have FaceTime. You could see each other. We have laptops. We have all this stuff. Back then we did it. We had the little Nokia phone with the snake game. It was popping. So you couldn't see anything. You, you have to buy like a like a wet cam for you to see each other. And I did it. He bought me like five of those. Told him every time that my computer was broken because I wasn't that real girl. But if you guys could guess who it was, comment below and have your guesses. But I'm not gonna say who it is, and to this, I'm gonna take that to the grave because the girl is still popular, and I don't wanna, you know, make her feel bad because I did that. You know, it's kind of weird. Um, um, and then at the, it was so funny because the girl started, ended up being friends with my cousins, and like, it turned into a shit show. Literally, it just. 
it was insane. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this story time made you guys laugh and be like oh my gosh i can't believe it is a catfish people i did i was one of them yeah i admit it okay guys i will see you guys in my next video i can't believe that i was like that okay, okay guys i love you and i will see you guys next time ciao and if you guys want more story times i have crazy story times thumbs up this video and don't make me feel like i'm so crazy okay bye Thank <laughs> you.